Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Childress. I'm a clinical psychologist in Pasadena, California. I specialize in treating ADHD issues, uh, family relationship problems, angry oppositional kids, and parenting issues. And today I'm going to talk about some of the issues involved in dating someone with children. This it can be an incredibly complex area of blended families and step parenting. And it depends a great deal on who the step parent is, who the parent is, who the uh, divorced parent, the other parent was, and the children's relationships with everybody involved. Uh, as you enter a family with children, there can also often be divided loyalties where the child feels difficult feeling good about you because they feel disloyal to the other parent. Uh, it can often be a difficult issue. Um, typically what the research has found, it takes about seven years to integrate uh, a step-parent into the family. So don't expect it to go well or smoothly or easy. Uh, it takes a while. One of the important issues, though, about relationships and the development of relationships is the concept of thickness uh, or complexity in the relationship. And this develops through what we call a breach and repair sequence. A breach and repair sequence, a minor breach and repair sequence, involves minor breaches in the relationship where our way of organizing the world and the child's way are two different things. We get conflict or angry or some sort of problem emerges. Then as the problem emerges, when we're able to fix the relationship and repair it again, the relationship gets a little bit stronger. As evidence for this, there is no stronger relationship than that between two soldiers who share a foxhole. The difficult times that they went through and shared create a complexity and a thickness to their relationship. So hard times, if we're able to get through them, actually create much deeper and much richer and closer relationships, which is a relief to parents that we don't have to be perfect. In fact, it helps not to be perfect sometimes. The important thing is that we fix the relationship, that we respond no matter how bad things get, we, we fix and respond with love and affection and, and respect at the end of the day. And in that way, there's, there's no better, more valuable communication to a child than no matter how bad things get, there's always a way to get back. There's always a way to fix it. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you'd like more information about parenting or families, you can visit my website. Thanks so much.